Hello everybody and welcome to Dialect Academy. Today I have such an exciting topic for you. A pronunciation lesson on the definite and indefinite articles and how they are pronounced in the Austrian dialect. So definite articles we have der, die, das and indefinite articles we have ein, eine, einem, einen, einer, eines. Now you might ask yourself, whoa, 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 whoa. I, I know all this stuff already and you might be right. If you're in Austria already for quite some time, you might figure it out yourself very quickly uh, how those things are pronounced in the Austrian dialect. However, for those people who are learning German as a second language and who are planning to come to Austria, I think it might be quite helpful to be already aware of those things and also to possibly speak it yourself too. Now, buckle up and let's get started with the first lesson. Rule number one. The pronunciation of the definite articles der, die, das in the Austrian dialect. As you know in the German language the nouns are gendered which means they can be either masculine, feminine or neutral nouns and accordingly you have certain articles. In the Austrian dialect those articles are pronounced in a very different way and I will show you how. In the Austrian dialect the article for the masculine nouns der is widely pronounced da. You see my mouth is wide open and widely relaxed. Now let's practice. Repeat after me those words. In standard German the words are der Baum, der Hund, der Tag. Der Baum, der Hund, der Tag. Those are masculine nouns. In the Austrian dialect you would say der Baum, der Baum, der Hund, der Hund, the dog, the dog. So you could see the difference between der and da. The article for the feminine nouns die is widely pronounced like de. Practice with me and watch the shape of my mouth. De. De. So you see that my mouth is wide stretched, de, and widely relaxed. Now let's look at three examples. In the standard German you would say die Frau, die Katze, die Maus. In the Austrian dialect you would say die Frau, die Frau, die Kotz, die Kotz, die Maus, die Maus. Now for this article what is also very common is that the die consonant it uh, is assimilated directly to the noun, so the vowel, there is no pronunciation of the vowels. Uh, so you would say the, the three words before: Frau, Kotz, Maus. This is difficult to pronounce. You imagine the the D. It sounds very uh, aspirated, so it sounds almost like a T. Okay, so you say T Frau, T Frau, T Frau, T Frau, T Frau. The same for the cots. T, cots, t, cots, t, cots, t, cots, t, cots. And for the last one, t, mouse, t, mouse, t, mouse, t, mouse, t, mouse, t, mouse. There we go. Now, in the Austrian dialect, the article for the neutral nouns, das, is very often, is very widely pronounced as des. Practice with me, watch my mouth, how it's moving. This. This. So you see, it's stretched. Let's practice on three words again. For the standard, in standard German, it would be das Kind, das Glas, das Essen. Now in the Austrian dialect, you would say this Kind, this Kind, this Glas, this Glas. This isn't. This isn't. Okay? Now this article for the neutral nouns, uh, it's also very common that you actually only pronounce the S sound. So on the previous three words we heard, you would say, and I make it slowly now, skind, skind, s-claws, s-claws, s-isn, s-isn. The article for plural nouns, in the standard German, it's D. In this case, uh, in the Austrian dialect, it is uh, also pronounced as you heard before. 
So if you look at the plural nouns, die Leute, die Frauen, die Kinder, in the Austrian dialect you pronounce die Leid, die Frauen, die Kinder. And now also again here for the article you can also just say the D sound, which almost sounds like a T sound. So it would be like die Leid, die Frauen, die Kinder. I'll do it slowly. T Leid, t Leid, t Leid, t Frauen, t Frauen, t Frauen, t Kinder, t Kinder, t Kinder. So you hear the difference, right? Rule number two. The pronunciation of the indefinite articles ein, eine, einem, einen, einer, eines in the Austrian dialect. Now with regards to the indefinite articles, there's a whole science about it. I will not go into the, the grammar itself. Uh, I will just show you how they are pronounced, so we want to keep it simple. Now in the Austrian dialect, the indefinite article ein and eine are pronounced like a. Here are some examples. So in the standard German, ein Baum, eine Frau, ein Kind. In the Austrian dialect, you would pronounce it a Baum, a Frau, a Kind. So here, it's always a, a, a. And that makes it pretty simple. So the indefinite articles einen und einem in the Austrian dialect is pronounced like an. Okay, practice with me. Watch the shape of my mouth. An. An. Let's look at an example in the context. So the sentence is Ich suche nach einem Hund, einem Kind, einem Platz. In the Austrian dialect you would say Ich suche noch an Hund, an Kind, an Platz. So you see how the word einem, einen is pronounced very differently in Austria with simply an. Now for the indefinite article einer, we pronounce it Anna. It's Anna. Anna. Now let's look at an example again in the context. You would say, Ich suche nach einer Katze, einer Sache, einer Person. In the Austrian dialect you would say, Ich suche nach einer Katze, nach einer Soch, nach einer Person. You see how the word einer is replaced by Anna. Now there's a very special case for the indefinite article eines. In Austria we rather say von an. Okay, practice with me. Von an. Von an. Let's look at three examples, okay? That, that illustrates it very nicely. The first one is die Arbeit eines Experten. The work of an expert. In Austrian dialect you will pronounce die Arbeit von an Experten. Die Arbeit von an Experten. The second word is das Auge eines Kindes. The eye of a child. In Austrian dialect you would say this Auge von an Kind. This Auge von an Kind. The next one is der Kopf eines Hundes. The head of a dog. So you would say in the Austrian dialect der Kopf von an Hund. Der Kopf von an Hund. So you see that the word eines in the Austrian dialect is replaced actually by the word von an. And if you look at the English translation, you can actually see that, you know, it really matches with the English translation of an, you know, the head of a dog, the Kopf von an Hund. So it's very similar to that. All right. Rule number three. The pronunciation of the negative indefinite articles, kein, keine, keinen, keinem, keiner, keines. And you can guess it. It is pronounced as we have just practiced before. The only difference is that you put the consonant K in front of it. So if you, have, if you look at the word uh, kein, keine, it's pronounced in Austria dialect K. Keinem, keinen, is pronounced as kan. Keiner, it's pronounced like kana. And the word keines, is pronounced von kan. Now I have to say there's one exception though. If you use the negative indefinite article for plural nouns, then the pronunciation of the word keine, it's different. It's keine. Okay, let's look at an example to illustrate it. Let's look at the singular feminine noun, die Frau. Okay, if you say the sentence, das ist keine Frau, you would say it in the Austrian dialect, 
Das ist keine Frau. If you look at the plural noun, die Frauen, then the sentence goes, das sind keine Frauen, das sind keine Frauen. Okay? But in the Austrian dialect, you pronounce it different. So you say, ka Frau, aber keine Frauen. Okay? Another example is if you say, es sind keine Leute da. Es sind keine Leute da. In the Austrian dialect, you would say, es san keine Leute da. Es san keine Leute da. Es san keine Leute da. Und es san keine Frauen da. Und es san keine Hunde da. Und es san keine Kotzen da. So those are basically the three rules. Now, let's practice. Uh, I have three sentences and we will apply the rules in order to pronounce it in the Austrian dialect. The first sentence is, das ist kein Löffel, sondern ein Messer. Now in the Austrian dialect you would say, das ist kein Löffel, sondern ein Messer. Das ist kein Löffel, sondern ein Messer. Okay. The second sentence is, der Hund hat keine Ohren. Der Hund hat keine Ohren. In the Austrian dialect you would say, der Hund hat keine Ohren. Der Hund hat keine Ohren. So you see, keine is pronounced like keine because Ohren, it's the, the plural noun for ears, okay? Another example. Das macht keinen großen Unterschied. Das macht keinen großen Unterschied. In the Austrian dialect you would say, das macht keinen großen Unterschied. Das macht keinen großen Unterschied. Alright, that was the exercise. Now, guys, as a final step, let's summarize what we have practiced today. We covered the definite articles, der, die, das. We covered the indefinite article, eine, ein, eines, eine, einem, einen. As well as the negative version of it, kein, keine, keinem, keinen, keines, keiner. Well, those were all those rules. And I want to give you guys a little tip. Now, if you want to practice those things, uh, the best thing to practice is actually take any article, any newspaper in German, read the sentence, read it out loud, and every time you come across uh, one of those articles, try to apply the, this rule. So you read in the article and you say, okay, there's ein, eine, and you pronounce it a. Ah, and speak it out loud for you. If you read it and you speak it out loud, uh, your ear makes the connections, and it will be much easier for you to understand the Austrian dialect if people speak it around you. It gives you a better awareness. Okay guys, that's it for the lesson today. I hope you really have enjoyed it. It was such an exciting lesson, I know, but I think it's something that is just very common and it will help you a lot to be one step closer and sounding more Austrian. Don't forget to connect to the website where you can find more uh, exercises that are very interactive. You just go on dialect.academy. There you will find uh, those exercises uh, so you can practice actually on your own pace and you have the sound with it, so you can really hear it and speak after it. It might help you. And I will see you until the next lesson. Bye. I gotta go.